Steve Jobs, the man who changed the face of personal computers, remade the computer and phone industries, and became known as a revolutionary computer genius, was also a tyrannical leader and poor manager, according to biographer Walter Isaacson in his eponymous book about Jobs. In fact, he could be one of the world's worst managers, according to Isaacson on CBS 60 Minutes on Sunday. He was not warm and fuzzy. During the course of his two separate tenures at Apple, Jobs alienated colleagues and investors alike with his acerbic and stubborn attitude. He could be very, very mean to people at times, added Isaacson. Argumentative, mean, Jobs chased away people with whom he couldn't share his unique style. That produced some of the world's most innovative devices. But Jobs loved to argue. Not everyone around him shared that passion, which drove some of his top people away. Another story Isaacson told about Jobs was about his tenure at Atari in 1974, where Jobs refused to wear shoes and take baths. He smelled so bad, they put him on the night shift so he wouldn't have to be around other people. You know, he believed that his vegan diet and uh, the way he lived made it so he didn't have to use deodorant or shower that often. It was an incorrect theory, as people kept pointing out to him at Atari. He was using that money ostensibly to take a trip to India, where he learned the magical technique that helped create Apple. From the Christian Post Newsroom, I'm George J. Weinbart.